Hide and Go Seek Alone is a rather famous game in Japan and Korea. Originating from Japan, it's a game where you, well, let a spirit possess a doll and then play a game of Hide and Go Seek with said doll. The game is necromancy and is potentially very dangerous and not for the good of your sanity. Do not play this game just because you're curious and want to experience it for yourself. This is a very dangerous and life risking game. And a note, since I'm pretty sure all you life risking thrill junkie types, it's best to put your pets outside of your house. There have been reports of dogs barking and cats hissing at nothing. Some even reported their pets behaving rather strangely after the game, leading up to their deaths. On a side note, the word for it in Japanese and hide and go seek or tag is oni, which means devil or ghost. So you should know what you're getting yourself into before you start. Now with that being said, here's a few things that you need. A stuffed doll with limbs. Now, may I note that not a human doll may be used as there's a huge chance that the spirit will not leave it. If you have an animal doll with limbs, it can be used just as well, e.g. a teddy bear. Rice. Rice that is enough to be used as stuffing inside of the cotton of your doll. The rice is said to attract the spirits to the doll. Something from your body, usually fingernails for the doll to represent you. Now, this means that if you do something to the doll, the same thing will happen to yourself. Never use someone else's body parts, and let me put emphasis on that. You sick bastard, if you use that on someone else's person, I cannot put emphasis on how bad this is. This will result in the doll replacing that person instead, and the game will not work correctly, but instead, there's a huge chance that you just put a serious curse on your friend. A sharp-edged object. To anger the spirit, just stab the doll. Now, be sure not to use knife or scissors, as the doll will possibly stab you if it after it finds you. So use a pencil or needle instead. It is recommended that you use a wooden toothpick. Red Thread To sew up the doll once you made the hole in the doll. This later symbolizes blood vessels and acts as a restraint later in the game. Salt Water or Salt Now, this will be used later in the game to get rid of the spirit from the doll. <laughs> a bathtub with water if you're home and you do not have, well, a bathtub, a basin that's large enough to put the doll in, and water, works too. A very safe sanctuary or hiding spot. Now let me also put emphasis on this. When the doll finds you, if you have a room with statues or things related to your religion, it is recommended that you make that your hiding spot. The, um, whether what religion it is, it doesn't really matter. It's the belief and power behind it that really does. Now, that's all you need. However, the next part of this ritual requires you to listen to my instructions intentively, because not following them directly could lead or indirectly lead to someone such as yourself's death, because you could potentially invite a ghost, demon, or deity into your house, and trust me, they will not be pleased that you have woken them up. Give your stuffed doll a name, for example, Killer. Cut the doll open and take its stuffing out, then put the rice in the doll as well, as also with the thing from your body. Sew the doll back up with the red thread and wrap the remaining string around the doll. Now this is important as it binds the spirit. Prepare a large bath slash basin and then fill with water, and then wait until 3 a.m. sharp. Some versions say that you do not have to wait till 3 a.m., but this is up to you. Now, remember, turn off all the lights in your house, but only leave the television on, as it will be your only indicator to where the doll is at. Once it's 3 a.m., take the doll to the large basin in the bathroom, and then repeat the first thing, the trigger, which is the name that you have given it, three times while closing your eyes. Then place the doll in the basement, then walk away into another room. Now, do not look back, as to do will remove the uh, bindings from the spirit. Uh, count slowly from 1 to 10, and then after that, turn around and proceed back to the doll. Go close to the doll in the bathroom basin, and then say, I found you, and then say the doll's name. Stab the doll with your weapon or object. After that, close your eyes and repeat, Now, the doll's name is it. Three times, leave the object <laughs> inside with the doll. Then pour some salt water in your mouth. Do not drink the salt water as it's the only thing that will protect you from the spirit. And you'll need the remaining salt water to end a ritual. 
bring along a cup of salt water to your hiding place just in case if you do. It is recommended that you keep your doors and windows unlocked in this, you know, because in this case, if you unexpectedly run into some trouble, your friends will be able to help you if they're outside of your home. Well, it is recommended that you have some headphones in silent mode and the brightness on the lowest level in case of emergencies. Keep the salt water in your mouth at all times. Never attempt to swallow it. Remain silent while you're hiding away as any sounds will alert the doll to where you are at. If the doll finds you, it will stab you with the object you stabbed it with and possibly possess you as well. Now, let's talk about ending the ritual because ending the ritual is very important as it will also end the game as well. To end a ritual, get out of your hiding spot and find a doll. It may not be in the bathroom. And spit the salt water onto the doll. Pour the remaining salt water onto the doll as well. Close your eyes and then shout out, I win, three times. The spirit and the doll will give up when the game ends. And you must dispose of the doll by burning it or throwing it away. Otherwise, the spirit will attempt to re-enter the doll. Some versions say that... <laughs> You should put salt in every corner of your house that you burn a doll, especially where the doll has been found. Salt chases away most spirits. Now, let's talk about some warnings and the arcane shit that could go wrong. Do not play this game for more than two hours. The spirit inside a doll is extremely difficult to remove at this point and it will be very volatile. Now, Messing around with spirits is very dangerous, so play the game at your own risk. Nobody will be responsible for your death as you put your life into your own risk when you play this game. As I said, spirits do not like to be fucked with. Do not turn around when heading to your hiding place. You might see something very disturbing. Now, I don't need to go into what that may be, but you may be um, seeing something that may make you think twice about life. Do not play this game when there is someone else in the house. Now you must play this game alone because the other person may be unintentionally found inside hurt and damaged or even possessed. Do not play this game with more than one person. It needs not to be said that this is a one person game and one person game only because there's a chance that more than one of these people could become possessed. The game can be played, or must be played, at 3 a.m. sharp. 3 a.m. is when the spirits are free to move around. However, some versions say you do not need to wait till 3 a.m. and 12 a.m. is just fine. But it's been proven that the 3 a.m. method is when most demons are lurking around. Do not turn on the lights while playing this game. Only leave your television on because other lights could become damaged and your entire wiring could just get all messed up. Do not fall asleep no matter how tired or exhausted you are while playing this game, especially while you're hiding. The doll will eventually find you and possess your doll, meaning the play is you found me and you have, <laughs> you're basically giving it your body and you, you need to understand how bad that could turn out. Do not attempt to leave the house while the game is still going on. No, I don't really know why I had to say this, but unless you want to end a ritual, the doll will still meet the house, and if it gets outside, you're essentially letting a horrible, volatile ghost roam as they please. And, yeah. <laughs> Do not play this game if you get fried easily or have a weak heart. This game is life-threatening, and is very terrifying for those who played it. Better yet, yeah, just don't play this game at all, especially if you're weak-minded, because those are the people who tend to not come out once they were. Now, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed my set of instructions to how to play a hide and go seek alone. Now, I again highly urge you not to play this game. 